Hello everyone, welcome to learn Cambodian with me again. I am Dara from the Khmer lesson. Okay, today I have a new lesson for you. And in this lesson, you are going to learn how to use the word so and to in Cambodian language. In this lesson, you will learn uh, two different use of so and two different use of to. But easy and simple. Okay, so right now, if you are ready, let's get started with me together. Okay, so right now let's start with me together. Wow. So you see here is so and to. So and to. So the first one we start from the word so in general. But in general, in this case, it means like if you think about its part of speech, uh, it can be pronounced, it can be conjunction, it can be adverb or interjection. But so in this case, I call it like uh, in general, but in general. Okay, so in this case, the word so in Khmer, we have two to say. Uh, the first one is more formal that you say no chne. But it's formal. But so in spoken, we never use this one. But we never use this one. We use no chne only in like uh, official situation or in the news or in the article. We use this one. But in spoken or casual speaking, we always use the second one that you see here. Uh, we we say e chang, e chang. But in spoken, you don't need to pronounce clearly like this. In spoken, Khmer people like to say jang, jang. So you see, the first syllable like it's hard to hear, but we say jang. Jung. Okay, so when you hear my people saying jung, it means this word e jung, but it means so. But. Okay, so I read this again for you. For formal, you say do chne, do chne, and like informal or in spoken jung, jung. Okay, but. So right now, let's see some example. Okay, example number one. Uh, I don't have money, so I will not go. But I don't have money, so I will not go. But so uh, we have two sentences that join or link with the word so. And I don't know exactly about uh, the its part of speak in this case, maybe in interjection or conjunction. Uh, I'm not clear with this. But okay, this one, okay. So you link two sentences together. But okay, I don't have money, so I will not go. Or I will stay home, something like that. But in Khmer, you will say, "Khnom at mien loi te, chăng khnom at tơi te, khnom at mien loi te, chăng khnom at tơi te." Okay, so with the white color, if someone can read Khmer, okay, this is a word for chăng. Okay, I. I mark with white color, but with uh, in English sentence or in transliteration, I use yellow color. Don't be confused. Don't be confused. But okay, okay, uh, okay. I read for you one more time. Khnom at mien loi te, chăng khnom at tơi te. But okay, so loi is money. But loi is money, and half is mien mean and odd mean loite it means i don't uh, mean don't have money okay okay and tớ it means to go ba tớ is to go okay i read again khnom odd mean loite chăng khnom odd tớ te ba okay now let's see example number 2 if you do so it's not good if you do so it's not good. Okay, so in this case, so maybe is adverb, but do so, it's not good. In Khmer, ba nè thvơn chăng vi ọt lọ tê. Ba nè thvơn chăng vi ọt lọ tê. Ba, so ba it means if. Ba, ba. 
yeah this wild world it's a bit hard for foreigners okay but uh, just follow me but okay if okay okay for I mean do or to make but to do or to make in Khmer we say for but and our word is so young but it's young okay we I mean it nah we it and not good but good is la or but good is la or not good at la or te but negative okay let me read this sentence again but net we chung we at la or te next example i think so but that you use a lot in this case when someone uh, say something and then say ah, i think so but in this case you say nhóm kết chân nhóm kết chân và so kết it means to think kết và kết uh, so you remember when you go to the restaurant you have food and then you would like to pay the bill you always say uh, yeah in English you say bill please but in Khmer you say Kết lùi Kết lùi Và so lùi is money Kết it means think Và so think money Some people they like to they like to joke with this word They just say uh, think money Và it means pay the bill eh? Và pay the bill Và nhóm kết chẳng I think so Và. Example number 4 Okay the same just change to hope I hope so Và I hope so but this is the word home, nah? sung khâm. Sung khâm. But this word, okay, just one syllable. Khâm. Don't pronounce ko em. Okay, some uh, some uh, students, they pronounce ko em. Ko em. So it's not correct. Just one. Uh, O-E in this transliteration, uh, it stands for vowel uh. uh. So you spell together, okay, you pronounce khâm. Come back. So for the word hope, you say sung come. Sung come back. So the whole sentence. Knyom sung come jang. Knyom sung come jang. Back. Knyom sung come jang. Back. I hope so. Okay, so this is how to use the word so in general as like a conjunction, interjection, adverb, or pronoun. Okay, I hope everyone understands clearly about this point. Okay, so now go to second point of using so as well. But in this case, we use so before adjective. That you always use like so good, so expensive. But, so in this case, so and very in my the same word. But you can use both. You can use so expensive. You can use very expensive. But in my use this one. Nah. Nah. But uh, when you use this word in Khmer, okay, you use it after adjective. In English, you use so or very before adjective. But in Khmer, you use adjective before this. Okay? But. Okay, so right now, let's see example with this point together. Okay, example number one. You say, so expensive or very expensive but in my just say play nah play nah but so play is expensive and nah it means so or very but so in my you say uh, expensive first and then so or very but example two so beautiful or very beautiful in my sad nah Sad, nah. But so sad is beautiful. Uh, besides the word beautiful for sad, you can use with pretty and clean. But so these three words you can use sad in my beautiful, pretty and clean. But sad. Okay, so so beautiful, very beautiful. Sad, nah. But sad, nah. Okay, next example is so good or very good. But this word, okay, uh, you know already that in Khmer you say la o. But so very good or so good, you say la o na. La o na. But la o na. Example four, so big. 
và all very big thông này và so big is thông và so very big or so big thông này thông này ok bà ok so uh, how do you so before attitude easy bà you just say not after that attitude that's it bà ok so i hope you understand clearly how to use so in this point Okay, so right now that's all for using so by uh, first point and second point. We have only this in Cambodian language. Now go to the third point is how to use to. But how to use to. To in this case, I can say in general as well. But so when you use to in general, the meaning is like also or as well. But to also or as well. In Khmer, you say Đài, đài. Và, so you heard a lot from uh, Khmer people when they say this word nah. đài. ok Và. ok so now let's see example with this example number 4 ok just very short I just say me too Và. me too so in the conversation ok you use this uh, me too in Khmer but easy Khnom đài. Khnom đài. Me too, ba nhóm đài. Ok. Example 2, ba I'm fine too. Ok, so I need to use a lot as well where uh, uh, people ask how are you and then someone say I'm fine and then someone asks you back or ask someone back and then they say I'm fine too. Ba in Khmer you just say nhóm sốc sập bái đài. Nhóm sốc sắp bài đài Bà Nhóm sốc sắp bài đài Ok, so sốc sắp bài I mean fine nhá. When you are fine Ok, you just say this word Ok Example 3 I love you too Ok So when uh, someone say I love you And then you say oh, I love you too Bà In my Nhóm sổ lành nẹ đài Nhóm Sro lang nè dài Ba so sro lang it mean to love nè? To love ba sro lang Nhóm sro lang nè dài ba. Next one is I miss you too The same sentence but just change to the word miss ba. Ok miss in Khmer you say nực nè Ba nực is here ba. So not only in this case nè? when you miss someone But another meaning of the word to miss For example you miss the bus I mean, you come late and then you say, oh, I missed the bath. So in that case, don't use this. In that case, we have another word. Ba. So miss in this case, I mean, to think about someone. Ba. Think of someone. Ba. So you say, no. Uh, no. Okay, so, so this sentence, you say, Khnyom nực nẹ đài. Khnyom nực nẹ đài. Ba. Khnyom nực nẹ đài. Okay. Okay, so this is how to use to in general, easy. Bah. I hope you understand clearly with this point. And now go to the last point of using to. This is the same as using so before adjective. And now we use to before adjective. Okay, so different. When you use so before adjective, you say na. But if you use to before adjective, you say pe. Pe. Okay, but funny if you think about grammar when you use so, it means it's positive. So when you say so expensive, yeah, it's so expensive, but you still be able to buy that thing or you still be able to afford for that when you use so, right? And then when you use to, if you think about grammar, it means in, in negative point. So when you say oh, too expensive, it means you cannot afford for that. Okay, and in in uh, if you think about grammar, so in Khmer, okay, we use differently as well. Okay, so this is how to use to before adjective, but you say be, but and how to use, uh, how to say in Khmer, you say adjective first and then this word, okay, uh, after. Now let's see example. Okay, so yeah, this uh, adjective like small, big, beautiful, clean. Okay, this vocabulary is adjective but it's adjective okay example one okay in this point too small wow so too small 
so you don't want to buy it uh, or you cannot uh, if you think about the room, it, when you say too small, okay, I mean you cannot live in that in this room. Bah. Okay, so too small, you say, tối big, tối big, bah. so tối it means small, small too, bah. tối big. Bah. Next one is too far, too far, ngay big, ngay big. Uh, the word Chengai is far. Okay, so I need, uh, it's a bit hard to pronounce, but with MG. Uh, so you say Chengai Big. Uh, Chengai Big. I cannot go. Okay. Example three. Too short. Too short. Clay Big. Clay Big. Uh, clay it means short. Uh, clay. Okay. Example number four is too narrow. Bah. Too narrow about place, about rooms are uh, too narrow. Bah. Okay, in Khmer, you just say, Chang it big. Chang it big. Bah. So, Chang it means narrow. Okay, so too narrow. Chang it big. Okay. Okay, so this is how to use two before adjective. Okay, so that's all for how to use so and to from this lesson. Okay, that's all for this lesson and thanks for watching. I hope this lesson is useful for you and I hope you enjoy this lesson as well. Okay, if you have any question or still not clear with some points from this video, just let me know in the comment section and I'm going to talk to you in the next video. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.